Hello everyone. So today I wanted to come out in here. Um, it was ooh light, super bad. Oh well. Okay, sorry. So I wanted to share with you about like the dyes that I got from Alina Express. Well, first I forgot that I got these because they were <laughs> in my craft room. So I got these glasses, super cute. Not too big, but really cute for embellishments. And then I also have this like rainbow with like raindrops right here. I believe they each are like a dollar fifty, so that is pretty good. But the purpose of this video today is to show you how I use the uh, die cut machine. I'm sure that some of you already know how to use this because, um, but I do got a lot of like requests on um, like utilizing this for like new people that hasn't had or hasn't um, got into like the die cutting machine is. So I wanted to show you. First, I'm going to show you my machine that I use, and it's really, really um, heavy. So, I got this on clearance when they clearance it out. I'm sorry, I'm reaching for my paper for my brochure so I could show you, and I could not find it. Shocking. Oh, I put it right here. Sorry. So my machine is Cut and Boss by Theresa Collins right over here. I'm not sure if you still are able to buy these. When I got mine, it gave me um, some stuff. Like I got two embossing folders and the embossing folders that I got were like huge. They are almost like a sheet of like regular paper which is like this kind of sorry about the glare but yeah that is kind of, it can emboss this whole thing um you know what let me just show you guys okay you guys so the thing that came with my kit for the Teresa Collins cut and emboss and one of the few reasons that I got it ugh, it's really heavy is because it came with dyes so it's by Craftwell, which is a the brand um, of the my machine, and the designer was Theresa Collins. So this is what it came with, and as you can see, the stars are still right here. So it came with like several dies. I would say that they were like eleven, no ten, ten cutting dies, and each pack was different. So, for my particular one, I got the hearts, the round hearts, which you could use as a paper clip, and then a small heart right there, just thank you sign, and then the lucky. So, again, the stars were right there, as you can see, and then the other ones are right here. So, um, I'm pretty happy with this one. I put some of my other dice in here. But let me show you guys real quick. So this is one of them. And this is the one that cuts like half. Um, I have tried these before, but um, it was difficult the first time because I'm not used to it. But, you know, I've been using it for... I had this machine, I would say, for like maybe three years, four years now, something like that. So I got this cute picture frame, good for like Polaroid. And then I got the thank you right here. And then they have holes so you can poke them. And then I got that, this really pretty tag right here. And then the one that says lucky. So that those are the dies that came in my kit plus of course the stars right over here so and then I just have like a dear Lizzie die in here too 
which like one of them is this cute little heart banner camera airplane and then arrow right here so I need to find a better system but right now I put them in this little baggie so um, the embossing folder as I was saying that came with my um, box were these two and these are about the biggest embossing die in the market that um, you can get and I so love these most of the time the embossing folders are not even half of this I'm not quite sure about the measurements but um, comment down below if you wanted to see my embossing um, folders because I have several ones but these are the ones that came with it so I have this like um, I like chevron is what is that what you call it no it says twill herringbone so this is herringbone so one side is up and then one side they call it emboss and deboss so and then I have this wood grain right here that I super love and this is the reason why I chose the system for Theresa Collins because of the extra stuff and this thing the biggest folder I don't know if you can still buy this I got this when they were clearancing them out at Joann's so my machine is uh, this this is my machine and like I said I have used my cutting dies several times so let me show you what it includes so when you buy any system they do come in like um, several items that are essential so they will come with an adapter this is mine and it's plugged right over there so I can show you and then you have different types of cutting plate so this is how crazy I've been using my um, thing they're not even straight anymore but that is why I bought these so because when you cut they actually like sometimes leave a mark but whatever so these are my a plates a a plates and then I also have a B plate right here super dirty because of like tilde here and I have my D plate and I have already even like bought an additional plate but as you can see I've also used them so and then I store my sandwiches there are plates or sandwich sometimes that's what they call it because when you're using it you create like a sandwich um, and one of these that I got from Target so the other ones that came with it are um, you have a metal plate right over here if you are um, actually doing some material that you need more pressure and then I have these magnetic plate I think this is magnetic no they're not but I got the paper anyhow so I stored them here and um, even though this brand is like Craftwell it still gives you like the instructions of what combination you can use if you have a different um, brand of dyes such as there's the spell spellbinder and then there's like Acute quilt and then there's also Sissix which is really um, kind of like very famous when it comes to cut and boss but um, yeah so this I always keep my manual in here because sometimes I have to figure out certain combinations so today we're gonna concentrate on um, die cutting so um, let me just show you guys how 
I do things. Okay, so for my first cut that I'm going to do, I am going to use this die right here that originally came from my machine. So, um, if I use the brand that I have, and again, I always reference it, this one to my, um, to my sheet right here. So it says right here, die cutting. And then on the other side, you have um, embossing folder. So if you wanted to um, do embossing. If you guys wanted me to show you a, tutori a tutorial of, or a video of how I do my embossing, I would love to show you. Please comment down below. So that is that. So the sandwich that I'm going to be using, I'm going to use two platform A, a platform B, my material, which is you can cut felt, you can cut vinyl, depending on really your die cut right here. So the quality of it. So I have this scrap that I have been playing with. Um, so I'm just going to use that. And then your die cut and then platform D. So I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see what I am doing. So, okay, so the machine is very heavy itself. It does have a handle right over here. It has that on and off switch right here and the power button is right here. So this is my power strip. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that. And of course, I decided to film this in my bedroom and in my bed. So, but what are you gonna do? This is where I want to be. So, I'm going to turn on the power button and you can see that light right over there and I just covered it. It's like blue so it indicates that it is ready for using. So and you have to give yourself space even if you put yourself inside here or your fingers it's not going to do anything because it needs the pressure of your platform in order for it to roll. So. Again, we're going to use this hard die right over here, but we need to prep our um, plates right here. So, it says that the bottom is your D plate, which is this one, and then you have to put the die that you decided to use. When you're putting your die, you can feel that there is like a little bit like roughness in here. So this is the part that you need to face up. So I'm going to put my die like so. And then I have my paper. So I'm just going to put my paper right there because that's what the platform is telling me. And then I'm going to need an A plate. And this is my crazy A plate that is super used. Oops, sorry. Not on frame, of course. Just gonna make sure that I put it in like the surface that it has more paper. Again, a plate. And then it's telling me that I need a B plate, which is, this is my B plate, putting that on top. And then somebody is like having dreams right over there. That's what you hear. So. Now, the next thing that you're going to do, we have our complete sandwich right here. You're just going to feed that inside the machine. And that is the amazing sound of cutting. I'm just going to do it one more time because I wanted a clean cut. You can, you don't have to do it two times, but I like to do it two times. And my material that I'm cutting is just paper, but still. So, sometimes you're going to hear crackling, but that's okay. It just means that it's doing its work to cut your paper. Alright, so now... We're going to take our plates out and we are going to do a reveal. Reve reveal. As you can see, there's the mark right over there. 
So, and it happens. It happens. Um, these are love. It shows love. So, that is that. And that's how it is. But you, to me, I would still use that because there's still space. So, now this is our um, paper. And you can peel it off. There goes our beautiful heart that you can use for your project. But I also wanted to share with you that the layer right here, there is still paper because it's lined. So they have holes right here that you can poke so you can release the paper. So let me see if I can find something to poke that. Because I do have tools, but my laziness is attacking tonight so i wasn't really prepared but i'm just going to use some of these die cuts because um like this girl of mine has like these her legs has like these little pokies that i can use so i'm just going to put that to release the paper like so so it lifts up and then carefully take it out. There's a better way of doing this, especially if you're using that part of your die. But again, laziness. So, and I decided to use a card, a paper, not a cardstock. If you happen to have a cardstock, it is a little bit more, it'll hold its shape. So that is our heart right there outline. Again, super cute. Oops, sorry. And then this is the other one. So that is pretty much it for like um, cutting or die cutting. So let's do another one right here. And I'm just gonna pick something really easy so you guys can see. So now, I am going to actually use this die right here, which is a mason jar. So let me just go ahead and get that. And in fact, I think I could squeeze in some of the tags too. Why not? So again, this is our paper that we're going to be utilizing. But we have to put our die first. So the biggest die would be like the mason jar. So I'm thinking I'm going to put that right there because this is my paper. So I want it to have like, okay, well, I'm going to put it like so. If you want a secure um, thing, then you can like put washi tapes in here to hold it up. I find that I don't need that. So I just like really wing it. So my mason jar is going to go right there. And then my two tags can go right here in this corner. Okay, all right. So now we're gonna do our plates. So die cut material plate A, so B and another A. So let's see how these ones work for us. Oops. Since I am not in a flat surface, I better be careful when I put my sandwich in my machine because it's moving. And my platforms are not mm. a perfect um, flat anymore. Tilda. So let's just to be sure put that in. And again, you will hear that crackling 
and that is totally perfect. So let's do our reveal. Ooh, I like. So sometimes it will stick in the thing, but that's okay. So, like so. So, again, this paper, still going to use that because there are dice that I own that are small. So, okay. So, we're just going to set that aside. So, this one right here. Oh, this is really cute. And it actually is ready to use for you because it already has like a hole. So, that's that. So, now you have like a mini um, die. So... Or, I'm sorry, tag right there. And then for the small piece, so this is the small piece. And then this is that small tag right there. Super cute. Um, it didn't really emboss it because as you can see, there is like embossing right there. But that's okay. It's still cute. And this is the bigger die. I was thinking it will emboss that part that detail all right so those are the tags and let's look at the mason jar because that's what i'm most excited of oh so the mason jar it's pretty cute so this is the tag for the mason jar and it has like that thing right there again i use just regular paper not a good card stock so that you guys can see i don't know if you can see the detail it's very cute so you can pair it with that or this one super cute so that is it so so that is how I use my um, die cuts um, I'm very excited to play with my Alina crafts um, die cuts but I just wanted to share that with you guys because I had people telling me how I really use it and what is die cut. So, um, um, there are so many, so many tutorials out there and different system or different brands has different like um, platforms or how you're going to put them together. But the main objective about this one, I like my machine because the Sizzix one, you have to crank it, which is okay. It's not really hard to like do that. But I guess like just going it through so far, there's the cut emboss. And then the other one that I know that you don't need to like um, crank is um, Tim Holtz is va Vagabond. And so it's up to you, whatever you like. This is the one that works for me. I hope that is helpful for you. Comment down below if that is helpful. And if you wanted me to you to if you wanted me to share more more project about my die cutting, please let me know. I would love to share that with you. I actually watched someone that was just die cutting stuff. So I'm probably going to think about doing that. So watch out for that and comment if you want to see that first. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys again. Bye.